Hi, today we're showing part 3 on the GMTO oscilloscope and we're going to give a brief demo on the GMTO ATIS Pro, Pro automotive brand specific oscilloscope software giving you wiring diagrams, a specific sensor and actuator tests and preset screens, procedures and sample waveforms, live connection diagrams, component location information with live pictures technical information about the specific item you are testing. Uh, it gives you this on, on engine management and ABS systems and in some cases also air aircon and climate control systems on a huge range of, of cars and like commercial vehicles. The unique point of the ATIS Pro software is the direct coupling between the diagnostic instructions with the example signals to the measure, measuring instrument. One click of the mouse in the ATIS Pro software will launch the scope software and load the specific settings to measure on the particular component and also load the brand specific sample waveform, allowing the mechanic to focus on finding the problem instead of fiddling with the scope for many minutes setting it up and also giving the mechanic a clear picture of what the waveform should look like and allowing them to overlay the measured signal on top of a known good signal right, so we we'll go into brands when you go into brands then you have two options for selecting the, the vehicle you can select here with the drop down boxes make model engine code petrol or diesel system then you click start or you can go to here and see here and then you have the list of, of the makes that are listed in the system so we click here today, we're going to be showing it on an Opel, so we went to Opel. Now you have the different models that are listed. So we'll go Corsa D, the different engines and engine codes, and different, different systems, so we'll select 1.3. Now here, on, on this particular car, you have information on ABS, engine management, CAN bus, and electronic climate control. Um, this list will vary from, from, from make to make and model to model depending on what's developed. Uh, some cases you'll just have engine management, some cases you'll have engine management and ABS, and some you will have all of these listed. So we'll go engine management. First thing we have then that comes up in the, when we go in here is you have a wiring diagram. You have diagram 1 and 2, they're split into 2. Um, we can zoom in or out on the diagram. You can print and then if if you look to the side column you have a list the, the list of components with a code beside it so if you look up this code go to the diagram it, it, it helps you find find a particular component on the diagram and also we have locations uh, give us component locations So then we'll go back to here. In the list of components, then we have some in different colors. The components in blue will be test, will be test that we have connection information, sample waveforms, and presets from this specific vehicle or from a vehicle with the same same system. I mean, like for example, you could have a car, uh, Opel Combo van that uses the same engine ECU, so it could be, it could be taken from 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 that or any other Opel that, that uses the same engine management system. So, and then the ones in green color will have connection info and sample waveforms and presets, but they will be generic, generic presets and samples. So then if we, we can go into one, so if we click on the, so for example, we click on the crank, crank angle sensor. In here then, we have, we have several different options. Um, so we have, say, for example, if we, if we select a measurement signal, then we have a live picture, a live connection diagram for this car. So we put our, our red lead to pin 2 and our black lead to pin 1. And it's shown us that we're using it on channel 1. Um, also, then, if we click on the picture, it will bring up some, some information about the crank, the crank sensor, how it works. Um, we'll click here you get for you get further information 
So then if you want to click here, so we're set to measurement signal. So whichever one we have selected here, when we click on the scope and launch the scope, it will be preset for measuring the signal. Or for example, if we click here, again, it gives us connection information. So when we click here, then the scope will be preset to measure the resistance. Um, and here then we have a test sheet. Um, gives you the, the some information about the sensor, the resistance you'd expect to get. So um, we'll go back to measurement signal. So if we click here. Uh, the, the moment we click here, this is going to open up the scope software. As you can see now, we have a sample wave from 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 this particular car. And the scope is preset, time base, voltage, everything is set up ready ready for you for you to take the reading from, from, from the vehicle you're working on. Um, so now when you start measuring our our waveform will be overlaid on top of this. If you wish then you can turn on and off the reference. Back again. Um, also then we have here measurement continuous where this will allow us to capture capture a glitch um, it's, it, when we click on measurement continuous it's after setting the scope up in, in a re recorder form so um, for example if it's an intermittent problem and you're test driving the vehicle and a glitch occurs the moment the glitch occurs you can either set the trigger with the space bar or with the remote trigger button and then also here we have measurement combi which will allow us to measure both the cam and crank sensor together so as you can see we have connection information for the crank connection information for the cam uh, again if you click on any of the pictures you'll get some technical information about the sensor we click here to load the scope and as you can see then we have a sample waveform for cam, cam and crank uh, this is a very useful function for, for checking for incorrect valve timing. So again, when we when we take our reading from, from the car, it will be overlaid on top of these. So you, you, you can then pause the scope and move our own taken reading along the scale to, to superimpose it on top of, of theirs. So then we can see exactly if the valve timing is correct or not. Again, you can turn on and off, make the reference visible or invisible. Um, so we're just going to a couple of other things here. Then to common rail injector. Again, same story with connection information using the hand channel one. Uh, we have measurement signal selected here. Again, if we click here, we get some technical information about the about the injector. Click here to launch the scope. Again, the scope is automatically preset. Time base, voltage scale, trigger, everything is preset for you. And again, you have a sample waveform. And we can select measurement current. Tells you about the, the setting up the amps clamp. Again, click here to get information here to launch the scope. This is a known good reading then from, from this particular system. We can we can take our sample then and have it have it displayed on on top of this or view it alongside this. And you have all this measurement resistance, test sheet, continuous. Um, so maybe we can go out to CAN bus, high speed CAN bus. It shows you the connection points on the ECU plug. Um, so it's using channel one, channel two. So we'll be putting channel 1 red connection to pin 40, channel 2 yellow to pin 64 and uh, then the both grounded and 
no one called Sam. Sam. Fuel pressure regulating valve. Sample uh, connection information. Some technical information. Sample waveform. Turbo pressure sensor, measurement signal, click here measurement power supply, then as you can see it's, it's shown us to connect uh, the red to connection 1, the black to 2, go here the scope will be set up for, for measuring the voltage, the power supply voltage, and the signal, you see this move to pin 1 for measuring the signal, So I'm taking at, at different RPM readings. So that's about it for today. Um, as you can see, you could spend a lot of time going through all the different options um, and, and, and functions on this scope. Um, so we'll be splitting them up in different videos and we'll be, we'll be doing more on, on, on this, on this uh, on in later videos. Um, so as you can see then, this is very useful software. Um, with regular regular updates, adding new vehicles and improving older vehicles uh, constantly. Um, with this software, then it can be purchased with the scope in in the beginning, or or added later on. So, for example, if if you purchase the scope package with just the generic software, this branded software can, can be added at 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 any time later on. Uh, so thanks for viewing and we'll be we'll be doing some more keep an eye on our youtube channel as we'll be doing more videos on this later thank you